السلام علیکم سکس پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی سمیرا کمل دا ہیڈ لائنس فرسٹ پرائم منسٹر سیز دا گورنمنٹ از ایڈریسنگ دا کرونا وائرس چیلنج ود یونٹی ایز سیفٹی آف پیپل از اٹس فور موسٹ ریسپانسبلٹی Pakistan has urged for coordinated efforts at global and regional levels to tackle the threat of coronavirus pandemic. Foreign Minister has called upon the opposition parties to support the government's efforts for creation of a new province in southern Punjab. In occupied Kashmir, thousands of people attended the funeral prayers of martyred Mudassir Ahmad Bhatt despite restrictions at Shutlu in Baramula district today. Iraq has decided to approach UN Security Council about overnight U.S. air strikes in the country. In 28th match of Pakistan Super League, Karachi Kings will take on Islamabad United at Karachi this evening. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has urged the nation to follow basic hygiene and precautionary measures in preventing the spread of coronavirus. He was chairing the National Security Committee meeting especially called to review the current status of coronavirus pandemic and Pakistan's response to it. The Prime Minister said there is no need to panic as we are addressing this challenge as one nation by protecting ourselves through precautionary measures. He also appealed people to place their trust in the government as their health, safety and well-being is its foremost responsibility. On the occasion, he also directed all concerned officials to coordinate a comprehensive and unified national response to safeguard the health of people of Pakistan. Foreign Office spokesperson Aisha Farooqi says the threat of coronavirus requires coordinated efforts at global and regional levels. In a tweet, she said, we have communicated that special assistant on health will be available to participate in the video conference of SARC member countries on the issue. Special Assistant on National Health Services Dr. Zafar Mirza has said that the steps taken by National Security Committee were necessary to protect Pakistan from the coronavirus. In his tweets, in the backdrop of decisions taken by the National Security Committee meeting to deal with coronavirus, he said a comprehensive food security plan will be formulated to avoid food shortages in the coming weeks and months. He said the Ministry of Food Security and Research will lead this effort. Minister for Railways Sheikh Rashid says instructions have been issued to concerned officials for cleanliness on all railway stations in the backdrop of coronavirus. Addressing a press conference in Lahore today, he said that we are ready to give all hospitals of Pakistan railways as isolation centers. He appealed people not to create panic as speculation disturbs economy. The minister pledged that China-Pakistan economic corridor will not affect with coronavirus. Various global countries have decided to close their borders, impose strict entries and quarantine requirements and restrict large gatherings in an effort to contain spread of coronavirus. The World Health Organization has termed Europe as pandemic's current epicenter after reporting more cases and deaths than the rest of the world combined. The United States and Spain have already declared state of emergency in their respective lands. This is Radio Pakistan. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has urged opposition parties to demonstrate open-heartedness and support the government's efforts being made for new province in creation of South Punjab. Addressing a news conference in Multan today, he said a bill to this effect will be presented before the parliament. He said that the elected representative should be aside political point scoring and work sincerely for the cause. He said the PTI government is making sincere efforts for the creation of new province, fulfilling its promises with the people of southern Punjab during the general election and following its manifesto. Shah Mahmood Qureshi maintained that it has been decided that elected assembly of southern Punjab province will decide about the capital of the province through effective coordination. Foreign Minister said it has been decided to make functional the South Punjab Secretariat by the 1st of July this year. One part of the Secretariat will be established in Multan and one in Bahawalpur. He regretted that the pre previous governments neglected the development of this region. 
President Al Jammu Kashmir Muslim Conference Sardar Atik Ahmed Khan says the Kashmir Freedom Movement has gained momentum to the new height with the passage of time. In an exclusive interview with our Bahawalpur correspondent, he expressed a regret that Indian security forces are committing massive human rights violations in Indian occupied Kashmir. He said despite operation in Srinagar, people of Kashmir are determined to carry the Kashmir Freedom Movement to its logical conclusion. Sardar Atik Ahmed Khan urged the international community to take notice of massive human rights violations committed by Indian troops in the occupied valley. In occupied Kashmir, despite restrictions, thousands of people attended the funeral prayers of martyred youth Mudassir Ahmed Butt in Shutlu area of Baramula district. According to Kashmir Media Service, Mudassir Ahmed Butt, who was a hafiz -e quran and used to lead prayers at a mosque in Sopur was martyred by Indian troops during a cordon and search operation in Shutlu yesterday. People including women from adjacent villages raising pro-freedom and pro-Pakistan and anti-India slogans poured in to have a last glimpse of the martyred Imam at Shutlu. The mourners took the body of Mudassar Ahmed Butt to the martyr's graveyard and laid him to rest amid sobs and tears. In Afghanistan, five militants have been killed during clashes with Afghan security forces in southern Helmand province. According to report, two Taliban divisional commanders, Omari and, Muzaf and Musafir, were among the killed. Three people also wounded during the clashes. In Iraq, a fresh spat of rockets have again hit Taji military base north of Baghdad that houses U.S.-led coalition troops. However, there are no reports of any casualties and no group has so far claimed the responsibility. Meanwhile, a spokesperson of Iraq's foreign ministry says Iraq has decided to approach the United Nations Security Council about overnight U.S. air strikes inside Iraq. In the 28th match of Pakistan Super League, Islamabad United takes on Karachi Kings in Karachi this evening. The match will start at 1900 hours. And finally, the weather. Mainly dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. However, partly cloudy weather with chances of rain, thunderstorm expected in Kashmir and its adjoining hilly areas. To end the news, here are some of the headlines once again. Prime Minister says the government is addressing the coronavirus challenge with unity as safety of people is its foremost responsibility. Pakistan has urged for coordinated efforts at global and regional levels to tackle the threat of coronavirus pandemic. Foreign Minister has called upon the opposition parties to support the government's efforts for creation of a new province in southern Punjab. In occupied Kashmir, thousands of people attended the funeral prayers of martyred Mudassir Ahmed Butt despite restrictions at Shutlu in Baramula district today. Iraq has decided to approach UN Security Council about overnight US air strikes in the country. In the 28th match of Pakistan Super League, Karachi Kings takes on Islamabad United at Karachi this evening. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And also watch live streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio, Pakistan News Official.